The following is a fan-based discussion. All properties discussed are property of Toei Inc., Bandai, Hasbro, and Tsuburaya Productions. Hello everybody and welcome back to Toku Tears. Who yes. will be crying today? Yes. It's still us. It's still a pandemic. It's still lots of police brutality. Uh, there's no joy. Anyway, but there's joy in this. This is blacks or blacks and greens? Blacks and greens. Because, you know, trade places, same team, not always, blah, 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 blah. Also, I'm looking at this, and I didn't realize how much of a gap there was in some cases. <laughs> anyway. So. Also, th- when we talk about greens, this is not six. So, no Tommy as a six. No Cam. Fair. Tommy will be in here as the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. Yes, he will. But that's about it. All right. Where are we starting? At the beginning. Yeah. Zach. Yeah. All right. Hip hop keto. Hip hop keto. Walter was great, Walter Jones. Um, but at the same time, it was very stereotypical early 90s, uh, not rap black guy. I still hold a grudge against him for somehow tricking me for 20 years and because I did not know he only had nine fingers. Well, to be fair, that happened because of this show. Rick, that I've not heard. Yeah, it happened. Beca- thought, it was something he, with a monster. I thought it, I thought he was missing his finger from before the show started. No, that happened with some monster in this where his I think his pinky kept going off. It was a ring finger, actually. Either way, it happened on show. Jesus, see, yeah, not bad, not great, but he was very middle of the road. Johnny Unbosh. yes, Adam. He's much better as a voice actor. Yeah, but also it's great to just see it because of the fact that he has actual martial arts experience. Oh no, that's absolutely fun to see. When you have people that could do that and things like on screen, then watching that movie, I didn't watch the full movie, I just watched the action scene of him fighting Eric in that movie that they did, <laughs> oh, yeah. which was great. <laughs> that fight scene. That yeah. fight scene is, they're, since they're both martial artists, seeing people do that is so good. It's, it's not as good as seeing like Donnie Yen and uh, Wu Yin. Are you talking about the improv? Alley fights. Yes, yeah, like a lot of it was in So you're like, this is the shit that I live for. To be fair, I got. I remember watching a video about stunt people reacting to that. I did too. I think I know what you're talking about. And they're just like, this is mostly improv. Donnie Yen's still gonna kick his ass because it's Donnie Yen. <laughs> we love Donnie Yen. It's sure. Anyway, Adam. Why do they keep making it fun though? Yeah, you would think after like when he met Bruce Lee at the end of it, that was the end of the story. <laughs> I named my Urshifu Ifan. <laughs> anyway. Right, where wa- we go for that? water style. Oh, yeah. I picked the dark one. <laughs> Do you need both to complete the Pokedex? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with C or B. I'll put him in B. For the martial arts? For Not <laughs> not only that, but also because of um okay. his role as a mentor in the In Space episode. I was about to bring that up. Also, I don't know who this guy's name is. He's one of the alien rangers, so nobody cares. Who? But I love how he's just like, I don't know who I am either. <laughs> just put him in the room. <laughs> Carlos! <laughs> Turbo... <laughs> Turbo Green in Space Black. Better is in space, and in space black. Pretty much all of them were, to be fair. Um, he C. came much more into his own in space. He really did. Yeah. C. <laughs> you want to put him in B? I want to put him in B. That's fine. He had a much better character. Had a much better arc. See, I just thought if if it was just Turbo C or D, if because of in space, I'd love to be. Yeah. about him except he was the mechanic you know what i remember about him mike you never met him (laughs) (laughs) okay that's just bad writing yeah it is let's sit here like (laughs) didn't wasn't he also like in a didn't he cameo a scene where somebody tried to steal the astro mega ship or something yeah he was in that oh that was that was in that was in lost galaxy Mm -hmm. yeah um (laughs) mike C or D? I would have put him in D. I really don't remember much about him. All I know is that his actor is Rachel Chiquino. Okay. Why are you find this shit out? <laughs> Just on their page. C or B? He was fun. Joel was a lot of fun. Watching him, watching the romance, aka borderline stalking. Yeah. 
But it worked out in the end. He has a daughter now. Oh. His actor does. But the thing is, this is another one of those cases where I remember him for two roles. What's he going to roll? He was the, the brother in Dreamgirls. I don't know and he has a great voice. C or B? I'll put him in B. Yeah. He had a good story. Trip. I really like Trip. I really like him too. I don't know if he's S worthy though. Oh, uh, but who is if it well, actually we actually maybe do have one later on. We can put him in A for now. We'll we'll, we'll do the same thing we did with his yellow counterpart, put yeah. him in A for now, we'll come back. X C. Yeah. Danny, that's his name. Danny Delgado. <laughs> It's going to be so... I don't know if I'll ever forget their goddamn names because of that scene at the end. I am Danny Delgado. Uh, Raging Bison in the rain. Wow. Thanks. Um, oh, every single time I hear his last name, all I'm, I've been watching this recently, the, the Let's Play of the Olympics ones. Delgado. <laughs> Mark <Nutt. laughs> Would you like some spaghetti? <laughs> You might have to cut this out. God damn it! Oh my god, nobody's gonna know what we're talking. Oh, about. that was one of the probably the funniest Gavin has ever been in a video. That was that made me cry. <laughs> oh, nuggets! <laughs> All right, Tommy. Where do you want to put Tommy? As I'm to rewatch the fucking. Movie. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> the ski. The ski. <laughs> I love the Olympic ones. They're so bad, but they're so great. Anybody who's a fan of Achievement Hunter or Rooster Teeth, don't got all this. shout out in the <laughs> comments. Oh, God. Tommy. I didn't, and specifically in Dino Thunder, yeah. I didn't hate him because he was both the, he was the mentor, the returning ranger. He played, Tommy as a mentor is a good role. Yeah. Because he is the most experienced. Yeah ranger in power rangers history it's really unfortunate he re- because the situation he was in he did not go to he did he refused to fly to new zealand so they had to do a lot of voiceover work he got invisible was stuck in his suit yeah and it all happened like uh just right after you know, yeah right after one another literally they <laughs> um but i would at least put him in b i would love to hear your arguments against him. Uh, it's either going to be in c or b for me I oh, really need to do like plus. <laughs> it, it like especially for him, he had the most ties to the villain until Trent came along. Um, also true. It was a weak tie. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll give him that. I'm gonna check over here. Okay, we're good. Who's next? Bridge. He was the best. <laughs> he, is, he is so good. You know, you know, my favorite moments of his isn't even an SPD. It was him in the Operation yeah. Overdrive explaining how he became the Red Ranger in such a bridge fashion. Our leader, who's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in S. Yeah, I love Bridge. He's great. Xanda. Hey, name's Xanda. <laughs> they finally said, fuck it. Stop making them do an American accent. I want to put him in B. Yeah, he I just loved his character. No, he was so fun. The Zan- Xander method. One day it might work. Spoiler alert. It, it doesn't. <laughs> Who? Samuel Benta. Well. No, no, no. I refuse to acknowledge his existence because he's an asshole. He, he tried did. to explain it recently, but at the same time, I was like, no. no. <laughs> you don't wait, what, 13 years or some shit? Pretty much. To actually say something. You should have said something earlier. Because um, that means you've got 13 years to make a story. Dylan! S. Great story. Do I get to pick what color I am? No. No. <laughs> God, he was the best. Nothing says co- what is it? Nothing says stealth. Like bright yellow, red, and blue spandex. spandex. <laughs> it's not spandex! Ziggy. Ziggy. I don't know if he's S-worthy. I think he is. Really? He had the most, one, he had like really the most consistent growth in that show. From because it's, powered. there's only, the, the only direction to go is up when you're on the bottom. But the thing is they did it well. I know. Plus his actors sold it. Yeah, I can't. I, I know I can't beat you on this. All right, trash. Also trash. Ah, Chase. I like Chase a lot. I did too. A. He's 
He's not S. I don't think he's S. Because he didn't really get that much... He didn't. Growth. He didn't really get that many focus episodes for him to grow. But at the same... Whenever he did have quote-unquote growth, it was always with somebody else. Yeah. But he was still a lot of fun. He was. Also, why is why does your skateboard have a Kiwi on it? Because you're from New Zealand. Got it. I'll put him in it. I just enjoy his character a lot. Oh, no. His character was great. Riley. I don't remember as much about Riley. He was smart. I remember that whole episode where the monster trapped him inside that building. It was like a whole maze thing. He had to use math to get out. I want to. He's going to be at least a B. Yeah, I'll put him in B. I just don't explain why the farm boy is so good with a sword. He practiced a lot. By himself. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> he's still there. He also practiced fencing. He didn't fence. <laughs> he used the reverse grip. Zach, from the movie. I still liked him. I know he was met in it for no time, but he was still a, a fun character. I would have put him in C. I'll put him in C. Bec- he was still... Like, he was the closest thing to... I want to say real. Because they were all pretty decent and real in that movie. And his motivations were good. His motivations were good. His acting was also above average. Best mother. Again, the campfire scene. We always going to talk about that goddamn campfire scene because this is just the Breakfast Club meets Chronicle. It was. Um, back to... I want to put him in S because I don't think he deserves to be below Z. I will agree. <laughs> Especially that whole episode, the whole racism episode with uh, Eric. Yeah. He was he was believable. That's I have a gem on my forehead and green hair that means I'm a alien. Move, Bridge! Okay. <laughs> Damn, Bridge! I know I know you're the red range now, and S is the red category, but chill. Uh this is accurate. This is pretty accurate. I love how once again... Damon! One. That was his name. I legitimately do not remember it until just now. Wow. I thought that was the Gold Ranger from Samurai for a second. Nope. Nope. Well, to be... I'm just... I'm working on a glare here. But yeah, this is the category. You have these four, this one, oh, these God, six, the three, six ranger list is one, train wreck. three, and then you have... I don't know who I am. Sorry, I just remember. I just remember the Six Ranger list is going to be a train wreck. It probably will be. All right, Robo Knight. <laughs> Why must you re- remind me of things that he said? Because this is Tokyo's here. Someone's got to be crying. God damn it! Ha ha! Anyway, this is our list. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Agree, disagree. Just always remember to remain civil, and we will see you guys next time. Or don't be hilarious for me. Hilarious, but not hateful. Or don't. Be hilarious. <laughs> Let's not promote bigotry in our comment section. Thank we you. won't do that, but we will say Del Gato. Bye, everybody. Bye.